The final quality checks of the Batak brand 17000 model pellet durability tester device are conducted at the Batak Quality Control Laboratory accredited with international accreditation certificates. The Batak brand 17000 model pellet durability tester device is used to determine pellet quality according to international standards. The device is used at 220 volts and 50 Hz grounded mains voltage. The grounding of the laboratory where the device will be installed is measured. The grounding value should be small or equal to 5 ohms. If not, the grounding line is drawn again. The device should not be used by persons other than the operator who knows how to use the device. There should be no flammable or combustible materials on or near the device. Unauthorized persons should not be allowed to interfere with the device. In case of any problem, Batak technical service team should be contacted. The device is placed on a flat and sturdy surface. The holding connection elements are components that enable the opening, closing, and locking of the sample chambers of the device. The on and off buttons on the control panel enable the device and control panel to turn on and off, respectively. Control panel is the unit that oversees the operation of the device and allows for adjustment of process settings. The emergency stop button is a button used to immediately shut off the device in case of danger. The set button on the device control panel allows for the setting of the device's operating time. Stop button is a button that stops the analysis. The start button is the button that initiates the analysis. The special motion mechanism in the holding connections allows for easy movement of the device. The lid of the sample chambers is opened. The waffle plate is specially designed to increase the impact of sample breakage. After dividing representative samples into equal parts using the Batak Model 13000 sample divider, a 100% representative sample is obtained. Subsequently, it is sieved with a sieve to remove foreign particles. An empty and clean container is teared. Using an analytical balance, a representative sample is weighed, plus or minus 10 grams, aiming for 500 grams. The sample weighing result is recorded as pellet weight up to the nearest 0.1 gram before rounding. Pre-rounding pellet weight is 500 grams. Through the special motion mechanisms of the holding connection elements, the components are pulled downwards, and their lids are opened. The sample weight is placed into the device's sample chamber components. The same process is repeated for the other sample. The lids of the sample chamber components are closed and locked using the holding connection elements. By pressing the start button on the device control panel, the rotation of the components is initiated according to international standards. The test cells and the lid lock are opened. The components of the sample chamber are locked, and the device is returned to its previous position. The rolled test samples from the sample chamber are taken and sieved through a sieve. An empty content is teared.
The sample weight held on the sieve is weighed on a precision scale after rolling, and the pellet weight is recorded up to the nearest 0.1 gram. The pellet weight after rolling is 483 grams. The weight of the pellet, measured after rolling the sample, is divided by the initial weight of the sample, and the result is multiplied by 100 to calculate the pellet durability index PDI. The same measurement process is applied to the other sample as well. After rolling, the weight of the pellet is 489 grams. After rolling, by dividing the pellet weight measured after by the initial sample weight, then multiplying by 100, the pellet durability index PDI, is calculated. Sample 1 parallel pellet durability index PDI, equals 96.6. Sample 2 parallel pellet durability index PDI, equals 97.8. Average pellet durability index PDI, equals 97.2.